It happened once again. This is my problem I'm having right now with Restream. Um, let me check my internet. My internet's fine, so it's not internet. <coughs> so what's happening is the Restream that I'm using is not allowing uh, me to go live. I'm clicking go live and it's telling me that I am live, which I'm not. Um, so I don't get it. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to go back to this route. I'm just going to stream directly with um, this. And uh, we're going to get this mask underway. So thank you guys. Uh, good morning. It's uh, 8.38 a.m. where I'm at in the lab in the creation station. And uh, we're going to be getting on making and finishing... This Jason Voorhees, um, this is Jason Voorhees four way. So let's 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 look at that. Boom, here we go. That's what we got done so far on that. I'm gonna go ahead and slap this on the. Uh, ah, there we go. Get this on here. Whoop! Too far. A little disappointed in that restream program that's supposedly so good even though it's uh botching right now botching like crazy <clears throat> although i'm still using the music for it so that's not bad my music I just think it's funny it's like you're already streaming and I'm like no you're not <clears throat> so we got the mask here right now it is ready it is good to go um, but I would like to do some kind of a base coat for it um, before we move along before we get all the painting and whatnot done and so I have a little bit of this. I'm going to be using this on a skeleton later on. It is a gloss protective enamel almond anti-angle spray with comfort tip. And uh, I've already gotten this all sanded down, ready to go. hit this real quick with it just get a nice little base coat down and then I'm going to uh, move along so yeah if you don't see me in the little mirror it's because restream re or whatever is acting silly Alright, so here we go. Mostly I'm going to be painting... I'm going to hit some of that because, you know... <coughs> sorry about that again. I'm going to go across the top. See, this is actually a brighter, more white of a color. This has that in it. So I'm hit, I hit that with it. Now I'm going to dry it off a little bit or with this heat gun. Dry it enough so that it's not going to be fully cured, but I'll be able to do some painting on it. Yeah. 
pretty cold right now. We had uh, some snow last night. It's like it's not, it's not, it just passed the midpoint of October and we already got snow going on. That's always fun. Still a little tacky, but that's fine. <clears throat> Let's see what we got going on over here. I'm actually doing brush paint with that. Uh, let me see if I have some plain. There's navy blue. There's WD-40. Don't need that. We can brush that on that's fine ow my knee all right so i'm gonna get all the base coats on so i got the almonds done so now i'm gonna do a white uh coat that's gray Okay, here we go. Oh, we got some right here. I have to bring the space heater in. So uh, it's supposed to be kind of like an off-white, so I'm going to take some of this dolphin gray. Because yeah, Roy's mask wasn't like an almond. It didn't have much of a yellow tint to it, but it was kind of a kind of an off-white. So I'm going to do some white and a little bit of gray, dolphin gray mixed into that. Let's stir it up for a little bit. That's more like it. Hey, TJ, how's it going? Hey, work is, it's fine because, you know, work is money. So, uh, what are we working on today? Are you still fixing that dude's problem, uh, his, his minor setback, or are we uh, doing something different today? <laughs> that's very true west we'll uh we'll get something figured out
Thank you guys for coming on. You know those lightweight tube things some ravers wear in their hair? Yeah, and they sell a ton of them right now. Like, and for during Halloween season, those things are all over the place. They have them in, uh, um, right now they're all over Spirit Halloween, Walmart, Meyer. If you go to the Halloween sections in Walmart and Meyer and Target, they're there. I also found them if you go to like Party City, they have them in the uh, Spirit section of the different colors so you can put them in your hair when you go to like sports games and whatnot. <clears throat> anyway, what did you say? Uh, I might have some, but I think. Yeah. I like that. That sounds like a fun idea. Oh. I lost audio. What's going on? What do you mean? I wasn't inactive. You guys are the ones saying I'm live right now. So give me my stuff. I have them on the back of that red black mask. Oh. Didn't even realize it. It's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to hit this with the heat gun again. Then probably do another coat. some more. A little more white. Um, I like the idea. I actually have some butcher, some plastic butcher trays around here. Um, I do. I love the idea. I was saving the butcher trays because I was thinking about doing some other things like I have some fun, like, uh, severed fingers and stuff that I made. And I was going to put all the severed fingers in there and stuff. And uh, put, like, fun little fingernails on them and stuff and have them labeled as lady fingers or something silly like that. But, no, I like the Rice Krispie idea, too. I showed my wife this morning it. I guess somebody had shared it on one of the uh, the groups that she follows, too. One more little drip. One more little drip. Boop. There we go. Stir it again. There we 
There we go. <coughs> All right, let's get some more done. been contemplating after this uh, mask season I'm gonna thinking about doing a live uh, stream either on Twitch or maybe YouTube of uh, my series that I used to do called Will It Voorhees in which I try to make a Jason mask out of things that are not a standard Jason mask kind of like how I did the uh the Jason Voorhees gas mask. But there will be different masks of that style, but then there will be stuff that aren't masks at all, like duct tape, packaging tape, Play-Doh, um, random trash in my trash can, or something like that. Plastic bags. Uh, and I will put them together and see what I can do to actually try to create a, you know, Friday the 13th style Jason hockey mask from that. Matter of fact, I have a project in mind that I'm, I'm actually going to film on the side, not actually stream, and then debut it hopefully by Halloween if I can get it done by then. All right, there we go. So that's, that's good. That's good. It's good enough for me. <clears throat> so, uh, I need some more. I need some more fluid in my rinse cup. Hush. Check it out. Bitchy, bitchy. What you say, yo? Tell me why you're working with the dealio. Let's play Mosey with the baby about the bus. Seven bigger money than labor for being us. I don't know why the beat's just making me think of that. Like a lighter version of Put Your Hands Where My Eyes Can See. <clears throat> Alright, so. Got the white on now for the Savini style. It's, base, it's just black. So, um, I'm going to use just black. Really no bells and whistles to it. There we go. 
This is going to be about two, maybe three coats. Hey, Stolen Mortar, how's it going? I'm just working on this uh, Friday the 13th four-way uh, Jason mask. Well, I pushed it back to 8.30 <clears throat> just to give myself just a couple more minutes to get set. And then uh, the Restream Studio is going weird again. I got everything set up, went to click go live, and it told me I was already live. So I had to jump on Twitch and look at that. And I'm like, well, I'm not live. And it would not let me sign in at all. I even, I restarted everything, reset everything. Almost a Warsaw again today, okay. But uh, so I just grabbed my phone and got on Twitch real quick. And I'm streaming live from Twitch from my phone. So there's always a plan B. Was it they say when when God when God shuts when life shuts a door, God cracks a window or something like that. <laughs> or was it Jesus saves, George Nelson withdraws. So right now I'm, I'm painting the dark part, which is the Savini version, if you will. I'm going to dry it a little bit so I can put on a second coat. I actually liked it enough when I finally figured out how to do it, how to seal these holes up. Cause see, there's my, there's my first attempts at it. And then there's my other one. It's a little better. And then right here, uh, you almost don't see it at all. So I was, I'm going to attempt to do possibly a, uh, a small tutorial because everybody else is trying to seal the holes in their hockey mask when they're doing these modifications, uh, using like, high dollar like this clear acrylic gel or uh, resin or anything like that and I'm like well no you'd be able to do it with some fairly uh, fairly cheaper method um, I don't like saying cheaper though I like inexpensive cost effective if you will a more cost effective method Why Seal? Um, well, mostly, I mean, I, I, I fell in love with his music back in the uh, in the early 90s, you know. Um, but we're never going to survive unless we get a little crazy. Oh, that's not what you're talking about? Uh, <laughs> I'm just having fun with you. No, uh, because there's holes in this mask that aren't supposed to be there. You know, according to like a can, a canical or a canon, uh, Jason Voorhees mask. So, like this mask, here I'll just different example of it. Just like this one, this orange one. It had the two nostrils and these guys here, and it's even got these guys here. So what I did was, I don't, I think you were here, or, you know, you uh, tape it off in the back, you sand it real good, and then you put a little bit of super glue in there, and you just sprinkle in. Uh, some uh, baking soda or you'll sprinkle in the baking soda vice versa 
I hear a doorbell. <laughs> I really think he's great. Uh, give me one second. I heard a, I heard a doorbell. And usually people do not come here this early. Okay, that was ridiculous. So, that was Amazon. I guess they really wanted to make sure that we uh, grabbed a package because they rang that bell repetitively, like rapid fire. I don't think you guys heard it. I did. It was like, do 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 And I was like, what in the world? And because I'm streaming with my phone, I didn't know if that was my wife actually trying to signal me that, I, that something important's happened. So I go out there and my wife's not out there. I can hear the shower running and it was an Amazon person just leaving a box. They didn't have to ring the bell that incessantly, but they did. Um, and then I went and snuck a peek at my wife in the shower because yeah, that's how I want to start my morning. She's all embarrassed, but I don't care. I think she's beautiful and I love her. So let's do another one more coat on this mask. Ooh. 
of this of the black here. And maybe you guys, <laughs> there we go, Skullmore, thank you. And dropping his automotes. If you guys haven't yet, get on Skull and Mortar and subscribe. He does some really awesome stuff. Uh, this Wednesday, he's going to be cooking some foods and whatnot. I've sent you uh, a couple through TikTok, uh, Skull and Mortar, if you want to check those out, if you hadn't yet. Next book in the Good Guys series is called Flex in the City. Title man. <laughs> Flex in the city. You just see like a bunch of like uh, gym bros. Just like at a coffee shop or something. Yeah, man. Yeah, I just squatted, I just squatted four, 450. Oh, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Sneaking like way and uh, their, their pre-workout and their coffees and stuff. Be like, let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> Yeah, I'd watch that. <laughs> All right. Nice, very nice. All right, so there we go. All right. Let this dry for a second because I now I'm going to work on these chevrons again. And I'm going to blow my nose. Sorry. <laughs> it has to happen. <clears throat> so now we're going to add, we're going to do the red chevrons at the top, and then we'll be doing the uh, blue chevron right here on this side. Pretty doggy. I got sent into a video game. Put his strength at over 100 sets. <laughs> Why is that? Oh my gosh. Uh, there is. Oh, what is it? There's an anime that came out a while ago. I want to say like maybe two years ago or so. Um, if you remember, well, there, and there's, a, there's two actually very much like each other. Um, what is it called? I want to say Overlord or something like that. And the story is a guy that stays on the game. Uh, he's the last player and they're shutting down the server. And he's like, you know what? I just want to stay on and let it go. Um, and so when the server shuts down, he thinks everything is completely shut down. But instead, he is now his character, and the world is still surviving. And uh, and but he he's been playing the game, the online game since the get go. <clears throat> so he has like godly stats and abilities and everything like that. And he's basically just running this place as his kingdom. But then he gets to see all the NPCs and and other worldly creatures he's befriended. To see what they act like when the uh, server's down and stuff. And it's kind of cool. And then there's another one where the guy is basically metagaming. Like he's he's in the game and he's like the demon king or something like that. And he doesn't know how it's happened. But he also knows all the secrets, ins and outs. And he 
knows how to dump his stats and stuff, and he's slowly taking over the world in that game genre as well. It's, it's, they're, they're very entertaining. I forget the, the names of them offhand. But, all right, so here we go. Now, the this side, uh, which is the uh, Jason X side, is a very, very short chevron. It goes to just here. It's like it's not much at all. <laughs> now the other one actually goes to about here. So I'm gonna mark it and come across. And it comes down. What do we got going on? Okay, yes. Uh, how not to summon a demon lord. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. I believe the other one's called like overlord or something like that too. Um, it's just one word and it's like, it's, I think lords in it, but he's got like the, the, the character he's playing has this a skull for a head. I think flames are around it and everything huge, massive armor and like blacks and purples and dark reds. But it's great because when he talks, he's always like this and stuff. But then his inner thought is, you know, like a high-pitched teenager. And the chevron on this one, part seven, goes down to here. So let's... As, Pat, as uh, Picard would say, let's make it so. been so long since I've watched those animes, especially now that you uh, let me know that they brought uh, Bleach back. I was like, oh my god, really? Because I think the last that I saw was when some of the, uh, I think it's the Iran cars from Heko Mundo went down to hell. And actually had to fight demons, and the demons just wasted them. With, like, without even trying, so I was like, oh, wow. What's going to happen when they... Like, so what, so like, Ichigo's going to have to become a demon now, too? Sorry for the extra gross sound effects. Still dealing with a little bit of congestion. All right, so. Very nice. Working on filling in this chevron right now. Not all acrylics are the same. I remember him becoming a hollow because he had to go from a, a hollow to a run car, right? Um, or the the one the one groups that were because they have what they have the uh, they have the one versions which are the Shinigamis that went from Shin that were thrown from their realm, and then there were the hollows that uh, advanced. Because he went hollow, then he went from hollow to... Am I just saying it wrong? Because it's been that long since I've seen it. Like, he's he's an advanced hollow, so I forget what the term is for the advanced hollows. But that's what he is now. And that was the last I remembered. Because he, like, completely wrecked Heko Mundo. 
And then a cut, uh, some of the, the bad guys from Heco Mundo, when they got wasted, they showed up in hell and then just got completely wrecked uh, by the demons. I even have a, uh, where's he at? He's sitting up on my, I found this at a thrift store. Boom. And it was at the thrift store because somebody had broken it. So I'm going to fix it up a little bit. I'm going to play my music again. Because I didn't do anything with it. Now it's all like, no. All right. So when I saw that one episode. Hey, Master Hooks. Hey, no worries, bud. Everything's cool. How'd your stream go last night? I just seen that you were on and I blacked out as I was trying to upload my uh, my phone to watch the stream. Then one more coat, we should be good. Well, I'm glad you were able to join us now. Chevron's done. Now, need to do the blue Chevron. As I was grabbing it, it fell. Dang it. <clears throat> so now we gotta do the blue chevron right here. This is dry enough. I'm gonna re redraw it on real quick so I can. See how it is, Master Hooks. No, no worries. Mm. 
hit. That was silly. All right, here we go. We're gonna put on the blue chevron now. Just started a new series yesterday called Wise Man's Grandson. Oh, I like that. That sounds nice. I'm definitely going to have to look at that up. All right, here we go. All right, cool. I got Hulu, so I'm definitely going to have to check that out. So there's the blue chevron. I'm going to put a second coat in. Just need to let it dry a little bit. Yes, thank you. I think that's, and that's, that was one of the things, like, I was almost sad uh, when I first watched Friday the 13th, uh, part five, and realized that wasn't Jason. They're like, oh, yeah, it's a copycat killer, because I was like, I actually really like the mask. I like how the blue pops. My boy Roy. Roy got a bad rap in that movie because everybody's like, oh, he couldn't take care of his son and sent his son to a to a home and stuff like that. And it's like, well, you know, it's not like he didn't want to take care of his son. I mean, he was working trying to make ends meet, you know, as a paramedic. And he was trying to better his son's life to have him pick up some more social skills. Unfortunately, in the, under that same house, was a, you know, another nutcase with an anger management and a willingness to unalive others. I like the blue. All 
All right, so now I'm gonna hit this again with the heat gun real quick. The TV show was actually, they called it Friday the 13th, but it, it actually had really nothing to do. Kind of like how Halloween 3 Season of the Witch didn't have a, a lot to really do with the Halloween franchise. Um, there was a gentleman who owned a curiosity shop and he wanted his business to be successful. So he made a deal with a demon and so everything got sold. Um, but the, you know, kind of like when you, when you make a wish, be careful what you wish for. He made the deal with the devil and then everything that he sold, uh, became cursed. And so... The other people that, I guess, had like a relation to that guy, uh, spent their waking hours looking for and finding these accursed items to bring back to the curiosity shop. Kind of like uh, Warehouse 13. If you remember Warehouse 13, Warehouse 13 is basically Friday the 13th, the series. Um, it's people going to get these enchanted or accursed items and bring it back. Like there was the one, the pickpocket, that bought the wallet. And so whenever he had the wallet in his hands, he could go up and touch a person and whatever value they had on them would end up in his pocket. I hadn't seen that Rick and Morty episode yet. I, I actually I kind of stopped watching Rick and Morty after season three. Uh, I see bits and pieces here and there. <coughs> no worries, TJ. It actually, if you ever have a chance and you're ever in like an old video store or something like that and they have Friday the 13th, the series or the show box set, get it. It is a really good watch. Um, I would. If I, if, I, if I was able to, I would definitely uh, get my hands on it and watch it. All right, so we need to... Time to do some, uh, some mucking up. Got to do some mucking about... And we do that by, oh, it stopped the music again. Get back on there. We're trying to rock out now. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, that and uh, there was also, you know, at the time, for some reason, when I met you at uh, Insanity Pro, a lot of there was a lot of people wanting to hate on you uh, back in the day, and I just didn't understand why. I thought you were a cool enough person, and uh, you know, it was kind of the same. Like everybody, everybody, uh, there was a handful of people at. At Insanity Pro that kind of, maybe not the Insanity Pro people, but a lot of the people I had around me, because uh, I was with another promotion, I really wanted to work with Insanity Pro because I liked everybody there, and I, I, I got my foot in the door by doing announcing, and I just remember like people were like, oh yeah, Brandon Prophet, he's a, you know, because when they talked to, because when you were rolling with that Brandon Prophet guy, you know, they gave Brandon Prophet a bunch of guff. You know, and and I was like, why? Well, I, I like him. I think he's pretty cool. You know, and then, yeah, when we found out that we both had an affinity for Friday the 13th, that's where things really took off because you were wanting hockey masks. And I was like, uh, guess what I do? <laughs> so it was the same with Rob Kincaid. Everybody gave Rob Kincaid a bad time and stuff, and I didn't understand why. I thought Rob Kincaid was good people. <laughs> oh, no, I, I understand what you meant. Just people just, I don't know, every, everybody, you know, it's, you fear, it's, it's, it, hate comes out of fear, you know, so maybe they were just afraid of what you could become, or what you would become, and they didn't like it, so. Alright, so dip a little bit. 
put it in the water a little bit, and now we're going to just dab it all across this mask. Because you remember, part seven's kind of dirty. But yeah, I still remember the first time you asked me, I had just done a Jason Goes to Hell mask. And you're like, yo, so I need you to make me a mask. This is still like back in Facebook. Or not Facebook, uh, MySpace era. Remember you messaged me over MySpace asking me if I had any hockey masks. I was like, well, I got this one. And you're like, yeah, sure, I want it. <laughs> and then you came over to my apartment. And you were like, I need another mask. Can you do me another mask? And at the time, you wanted me to do a, uh, convert a hockey mask into a hardogram. Uh, but I was like, yeah, I can try it out and stuff, see what, what happens. And got it done. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to be your chief mask maker. <laughs> I mean, you got it done from other people and stuff. I remember uh, when you were starting Wrestle Arts. You hit me up for another one, and that's that's actually when I decided to actually start uh, filming my uh, my sessions where I make the masks. I, I had never done it before. I would just make it and take a photo when I was done, but I never videotaped the process. I'm like, oh, this is a new cutting cutting edge. You know, this is groundbreaking. Nobody else does this. And as soon as I I posted, I went to go find it on. YouTube, and I was like, who's this big hush guy? And I was like, oh, man, he's been doing it for a while now. And they're like, no, everybody's been doing it. It's not until you do it that you realize everybody else has been doing it. But it's no big deal. I mean, I do my versions. They do theirs. He likes to go more canon. Like, he will he will get every single scratch, scrape, nick, movie-esque. And I'm just like, eh, it looks close enough. I don't want to... I, I don't want to do that because I'm afraid if I worry too much about some of that stuff, then I'm going to lose the fun in making it, you know? Because we got to have fun making what we do. If we worry too much about the, the smaller things, then, you know, you, you lose what's... You'll end up losing what's fun, and you don't want to lose what's fun. Now, for, for this, I did a bunch of the dabbing. On this side, I'm going to do a bunch of wiping. And the reason why I'm doing that is because you see how the scratches are actually catching what I want. Because I want that to be more visible. That's perfect. Or at least, you know, Skull Mortar, that's how I remembered it. I just remembered, like, especially the the guys I was with, the promotion I was with, they were like, oh, yeah, that guy, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I like that guy. But times change, you know. Some of the people that would talk, some of the people that talk smack about people back in the day, suddenly they're wanting to be used by them, and you know. It becomes more of a, you know, they're not who they used to be. All right, so there, you got a different style of a mucky ups. <clears throat> okay, I need some of this yellow now. Yeah, ASMR. Got that paint fart going on. That may be a little too much brown. Let's find out when we mix it. Hit. No, it's pretty good. Dirty dipping. Put that around the eyes. 
around the holes. Give this more of a stain, if you will. Wrestling is weird, TJ. Yeah, we'll never be able to... Yeah. There's always, and there's that other term too. The more things change, the more things stay the same. You, you see a lot of promotions out there talking about how they're trying to build up everybody and become a cohesive unit and this, that, and the other. But then when it comes down to it, no, it's just like it was in the 2000s, just like it was in the, you just gotta be like, it's whatever, bruh. Yes, I use that term, bruh. All right, so. That part done, that part's done. I need a different brush. Oh yes, this brush. I made this brush for the other mask and now we'll use it again. Maybe, there we go, bust it up a little bit. Use the heat gun on that to make it as crispy as I could. And I was like, it's, it's just hard to explain to people at times why, especially when you're a pro wrestler, like, why do you do it? You're like, I just, I just do, I don't know. It's just, it's something you really can't explain. It's just, even some wrestlers still don't get it. You know, they're like, oh, you're what is that? It's like, I, I do, but it's just, it's a thing, you know? It's almost spiritual. That song does not... Well, well, I like these songs and they keep trying to... They're bailing on me. So we got some muckiness over here. I accidentally got some red in there. So I'm not bad about that. Just hit it again with this. Smear it in. All right, so now we're gonna add some more darker stuff. Probably add a little bit. And clean the blah that when it dries out. All right. Thank you very much. This is the thing when you apply it differently. You have that which was done with this, and then you have this which was done with that. So the same color applied differently has different looks and textures and whatnot. So let us once again still don't have my gloves. I don't know why. I, I bought gloves. I'm still not wearing them. Am I protesting? What is going on? So 
doing just like a little bit of a dab here, mixing some of the black in with that yellow, dabbing it over here on the edges and around this, these spots right here. Doing a little bit of a dab work. And after I dab them, uh, even using the brush to try to scrape some more of it back off. That would be a fun effect. Thank you very much, TJ. I really appreciate that. Maybe do some around here. Wristed. Adding just a little bit of dirtiness to this white just because. There we go. I'm happy with that. Nice. Makes me very happy. All right, so really isn't too much left to do to this. Add some more scratches here. what I want. Get some more of this bottle of blood here. Just a little bit over the cut. So all that's left
put these lines back in just because And just because I want to have a little more fun with it, instead of doing a straight line, I'll make some jagged stuff going. Maybe I'll do it with a brush. I think a brush might look better. There we go. I don't know what kind of a design I'm going for. <clears throat> All right. Right. Hey, real deal. How's it going? Thank you very much. Haven't seen you in a minute. I try to tab you anytime I get a chance to, real deal. So it's good to see you on here. I'm just finishing up this uh, Jason mask. Speaking of finishing up this Jason mask, it is now done. <laughs> 
So there we go. I'm very, ooh, I love this. Very happy with this. Oh, and like I always say, you always know you're done when you, when you believe you're done and you think there's nothing more you can do. There's only one thing to do. I got hiccups suddenly. And that thing is decided. All right, there you go. It is now signed. And it is done. It is Dunyan Rings. Ha <laughs> ha. So, there we go. I've been working a lot of mornings. It's dragging me. But hey, man. Real, I, I, seriously, uh, it's been awesome watching you uh, advance. Uh real deal seeing how you have been advancing in your uh twitch and then now your your jump uh well not jump but you adding on your streaming onto youtube and stuff as well and even with you now uh how many followers you got on tiktok because <clears throat> with that you can go live on tiktok now too it's amazing watching you just take off so it's been real cool uh to to see you progress in the world of streaming. And I'm doing my best to get in there as well. I mean, almost everybody right now in my group that's been, uh, th their streamers are doing extremely well. Uh, Master Hooks is doing really good right now with his, uh, I wanted to just say sermons, but <laughs> that's not what I meant. But yeah, him getting on late nights and uh, doing his uh, Bible studies with the Jedi stuff. That's that's awesome. I think it's, it's cutting edge. I don't see anybody else doing it. Um, but really, I'm, I'm just, like, even if I wasn't streaming right now, I would still just be doing this stuff. So why not stream and let you guys, you know, hang out and enjoy this crafting and stuff with me? That is a very nice piece. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. Um, the only other thing people would probably complain about is that I didn't put snaps in. Well, you know what? I'm, let me, I'm going to hold on to this mask for a little bit. Maybe I'll put them on my Etsy account. But ultimately, I think I'm going to leave them be right now. Just because I signed it. Yeah, so I'm not going to put snaps on it. I signed it. It's done. If I wouldn't have signed it, I would think more about... Maybe I should put snaps on the mask. But you know what? It's signed. It's signed, sealed, delivered. That's it. The only other thing I'm going to do with this is probably put a clear coat on it. So, what you know, I can do right now. Uh. I got this clear coat right here. Now there's nothing more I can do to it. I clear coated the darn thing. I can't wait for this congestion to go away. Yeah, and if you haven't yet, definitely get on Real Deal Castillo's uh, Twitch. He's got some awesome stuff. He's a great gamer. He's got he does awesome gameplay. thing is almost the same thing like I was thinking back earlier about how Skull Mortar said we became buddies because of our affinity for Friday the 13th. It was the same with me and uh, uh, Justin Kyle as well. When Justin Kyle found out I was a huge uh, Friday the 13th guy, he was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> Matter of fact, before I went full on ZPW, I was trying to start a promotion called F13W where it was horror themed, Friday the 13th themed and whatnot. And I was gearing uh, Justin Kyle up to be 
my number, my very first uh, Friday the 13th champion. He was stoked. But, you know, things happen. Things change. We adapt. And now I have Zabat Ass Wrestling, which I'm currently in the talks with doing some shows here in Franklin as well as up in Indianapolis. I actually have a couple venues in Indianapolis that want me to to bring my product up there. Um... Because they, they loved the, uh, uh, some of them had come down to the Ratlock Horror Wrestling Show. And they said they loved it so much they'd like me to bring that same uh, style to Indianapolis. And I'm like, yeah. Why not? I love Indianapolis. So, so there we go. This is awesome. It was, that's perfect. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. What do you guys think? You guys like this? If you guys like it, throw some uh, throw some emotes down or throw some bits or something like that. Let me know that this is appreciated. <clears throat> but uh, it is now 10 o'clock, so I'm going to be calling it a day. Um, just do this and boop, boop. Thank you very much, Master Hook. So there we go. Um, let's go ahead and put it on. Oh yeah, look at that. That's fun. Thank you very much, West. So there we go. We got part seven, Jason X. Um, whatever this is. <laughs> Thank you very much, TJ. Thank you guys. Uh, Savini, Jason right here. We got Roy. So that is so fun. That is so cool. I'm so happy I did this. I'm loving this. I, I do. Maybe I don't want to sell it. Maybe <laughs> I'll be that guy. <laughs> you know, I will be that one. Oh, awesome. Thank you guys so much. Uh, once again, uh, the mask is done. And um, tomorrow we're going to be right back at it. So, hey. Um. We're, we're signing off now before I go. Just once again, thank you, Master Hooks. Thank you, TJ, guys, for the bits. I appreciate that. Peace be with you as well, Master Hooks. Uh, West, thank you so much for jumping on here. Um, as well as Real Deal Castillo. Haven't seen him in a while, so I'm gr glad to have him here. Matter of fact, I'll probably jump on and put him on tab as soon as he uh, goes to. I got to go, go pick up Mini Vinny now. Um, skull and mortar, always a treat. Just remember tomorrow night, skull and mortar is going to be live cooking some foods, whether it be deliciousness or just something weird that he saw online. He wants to try it out for himself. And because of that, and just remember, you know, it's not just this awesome mass making that was decided by the dice. It wasn't just you guys coming on here and cheering me on. No, this. <clears throat> I had a pair of goggles put on. Let's slap this back on. This was Voorhees. No, it was science. <laughs>